was to just make this coil. And they knew nothing else. Never, never did one of them actually see Lockridge assemble the machine. So not one of them knew exactly how this machine went together. It's just notes and pictures of them struck the machine. And you see he made notes of what he was doing. And tests. So the, the man that re tried to reconstruct this machine went around to all the people that owned it. Now, here's the funny thing about all this. The people were more than happy with this machine that Lockridge sold. And he would do it for a little, very little money and something to drink. Uh, <laughs> but the thing about this machine is that that every one of these, he would only sell it to people that were campers. He wouldn't just go and sell it to somebody that wanted to run their house because nobody in that town cared about running their house. So he would sell these to weekend campers who would just keep their camper warm with something that was less than 300 watts or just run lights. The problem with this machine was these brushes. We know that now after all the reports. These brushes, when they wore out, being that there were Delco Ramey brushes for a 12 volt generator that would come off a Chevy car or a Cadillac, they would go down to the local auto, auto parts store and say, I need a set of brushes for this and they would put them in the machine and they would be too thick and the machine would never run again. So being that these people were not real well to do, the scrap man would come around and they would sell the copper because this thing was tons of copper here. Copper wire here, copper wire here, big 35 feet sheet and they would just sell it for scrap price to get a few bucks. Because it was junk. Because it was junk after that, it didn't work anymore so it wore out. So now one of these machines is surviving except for what you see right here. And it's built wrong. Because this is an exact, this Lockridge never relayed to anybody how all these circuits hooked up. And so this per gentleman that tried to reconstruct it, and this is, I think it says right here that he started work on this in 80. At least the notes. Now here's the other funny thing. Then when he started work on this, most of the people were so old because these were just old campers that Lockridge would sell it to. And uh, they were so old and they remember all about the machine because they talk about it. So oh, well, I just gave it a start with a pull cord and away she went. And as long as I kept the lights at less than 300 watts, I had lights all night long, all day long, all night long, all day long. And they would, it would even charge a battery. It would charge up your truck battery as long as you didn't exceed the 300 watts. So anyway, um, this is an original drawing from a person that he found that actually worked with Lockridge and he drew the way it was but as you notice he doesn't know what these boxes are or where they're going. 